Hey guys, it's Kevin Triforce. This isn't going to be a long review because of this uh, Book 4 Balance episode of Korra being Remembrance, and it's a, more of a clip show than anything else. But before I get into the review, I want to lay down and explain some stuff. I may put a link in the description just to spread the word. I know more people are finding out about it, but I want to make sure people understand. This was not the creator's decision to do this clip show. It's all Nick's fault quite frankly, because they cut the budget back by an episode, so it was either fire people that were working on the show, or do a clip episode, and they did the right thing in this case, and that was do a clip episode, and it, that's really all that needs to be said, that's from Brian's Tumblr, so Brian Kanitska, one of the co-creators, so, and I feel bad, because it's complete bullcrap, but regardless, I'm going to go ahead and go over this episode, it's not going to take me long. But we got some clips from book one, two, and three. Um, there were some good moments more the second half. The first half was boring. There were some okay moments, but this episode was just a bore. I don't blame him for it, but I just blame Nick, of course. But anyway, we start with Mako and Wu. Then we po then we go to Korra and Asami, and then Varric and Bolin. And essentially... The first half of it's just really a recap show with occasional commentary by them, and that helps it be not too boring. And then the part where it picks up is the very part, because it's more like Ember, Ember Isle players. But I feel like here, I think the reason they couldn't do it, because they kind of did it in book two as well, like how they did it with Avatar, but the reason they couldn't do it here was probably because it would have been like making a whole new episode. So <laughs> that's probably because... I think we all would have rather them done that style again. Just have it happen in Republic City or whatever, I don't know. But regardless. Honestly, it was okay, but I felt like the first half could have been better. But the second half, it shined when they had the villains talking to each other and stuff like that. Like, it made it fun. It made it funny. It was actually, you could actually laugh at it because it was funny at that point. But... There wasn't enough of that, I feel like, and that's what ruined it, to an extent, because of that. But reg anyway, I mean, there's not much what for me to say here. There's not enough to talk about, but I guess I'll give it a 7. That's probably around where it'll be, a 7 out of 10. So, it was a good episode. It's better than it, I thought it was going to be, because I had low expectations once I found out it was a clip show, but... That's about all I gotta say here, guys. So I'll see you for the next review, which will be a new episode and it'll be more in depth. So, but before I leave, let's go ahead. There's been a new clip, and it showed Ryu, which was played by John Herder, who voice who he's voicing him, and he was Napoleon Dynamite. Anyway, that's why that character is for me so funny. But anyway, and he was pissed off one of the storyboard artists, one of the animators on Core. So that's neat too. But whose name is Ryu, but anyway, I think, well, I know it was based off of someone, and I believe it was Ryu, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, as I remember hearing the commentary, so yeah, it was based on Ryu, anyway, they shared the same name, I mean, but, they showed the Spirit Wilds kind of acting up, so, and the episode title was Beyond the Wilds for episode 9, so, honestly, I think we'll see a possible confrontation with Kuvir and Toph, and that'll be one, maybe the B story. The A story will be dealing with the spirit while it's acting up from what Kuvir is doing in the swamp, which is probably affecting all of them since they're all connected, like Toph said. And that's all I gotta say, but yeah, Beyond the Wilds, I think it's gonna be really good, and it's gonna lead into the finale, so... Because after that episode, the question will be, is it gonna be a four-part or two-part finale? And by episode 10, we'll know, so... Anyway... That's I think that's all I got for this review. So my name is Kevin Triforce. I'm signing off. Have a good day, guys. And I'll see you next week for the next episode of Korra. Have a nice day.